navigating our new uh, ticketing system, which is, uh, I believe we're the first ensemble to be playing, uh, doing a concert. Uh, yes, we are. Yeah, we are, the, we are setting a record here. First ensemble to play live uh, after COVID. So you're part of uh, world history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we are the Drexel University Percussion Ensemble. Um, we have some really talented people here. As, uh, we always seem, uh, we're very grateful to always have a nice, talented group. And uh, this year is no exception. Um, we also have a special guest, uh, Mohammed Gayab here. He's a uh, graduate, he's graduated, and he helped us out played with us uh, through, the, through COVID when we were still performing. Uh, we were doing uh, recordings. Um, we couldn't perform live, so we, uh, we, everything was by Zoom. So it was a challenge, and, and we uh, actually set some standards for some of the other ensembles and other uh, departments uh, in that we were, uh, we actually did, a lot of people were doing the, the Hollywood Squares uh, uh, Brady Bunch Zoom setup, and uh, instead of doing that, we did an actual video. So where the students were walking around the campus performing, and um, and then we had some of the, uh, the recording studio, and then uh, so then uh, Guy would help us. Uh, Guy's from uh, Bahrain. He's going to be going back when uh, March, March or April, March April. April. So. We've invited him to play with us in the, at the Mandel, too. So that'll be his swan song for, for uh, playing with us. Last dance. Yeah, his last stand here in the United States before he goes back. So hopefully we will be back after that, right? I mean, if someone gets married, then I get invited, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, actually, we have Maddie Lentz here is going to be getting married. Uh, her fiance is also, uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, Troy, this is Troy, stand up, Troy. Yeah, Troy! Woo! We're going to be, uh, we're gonna be getting married, uh, God willing, next summer, right? We'll Hopefully. see. We'll see. Yeah, and Troy, uh, Troy was part of the ensemble through, the, through our uh, COVID, helped us out, wrote a tune that we're going to be playing today. So we're, we're going to be featuring, uh, we're going to be featuring some uh, uh, for, um, original material compositions, and uh, and then interspersed with uh, some cover tunes that you might recognize. So uh, thanks for uh, bearing with us as we set everything up. Um, I'm going to start out um, playing a drum solo that was uh, Reveille. Reveille is the, is the uh, camp duty uh, order that was would wake up the troops in the morning, so when you see this tune, you'll know why. But, but the drummer was responsible for for signaling, the drummers and fifers in the 17th, from the, uh, the 1700s, 18th century, also the 17th century. Drummers and fifers were responsible for the signals for marching. Also, the drummers were also responsible for playing an instrument like this is a rope tension drum. Uh, gut snares on the bottom. Uh, these ten the tensioning is with rope and leather ears, as opposed to everything else is metal rods and lug casing. But this is just a basic drum, but it's loud enough and uh, could be heard for miles. The fife syndrome could be heard for miles, and they didn't have cell phones or walkie-talkies. So the only means of communication up till. The, uh, the 1900s was, uh, was just instruments, bugles, drums, and fifes. So, um, so this was Reveille. It was used to wake up the troops. And uh, this is called Three Camps, the other name for them. So, I get warmed up here. Okay. Three Camps.
they called that three camps because there were three sections to the tomb. So, so on drum, drum beating, they referred to it as drum beating. Okay. Uh, let me loosen this up here. You tighten the drum by uh, pulling these ears down, loosen them by pushing them up. So when you pull it down, it brings tension to both, both hoops and then to the head on the right side. So. If you leave it, uh, if you leave it tension without pulling it up after you're done, it'll loosen the drum. So a lot of drummers, even some using some CCC, some drummers leave the, these ears pulled down. It wrecks the drum. So it's always better to pull it up when you're done. It loosens it up. So. All right. Next, uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, a bucket routine. <laughs> so uh, these are the Drexel Bucketeers. Um, can we ask Home Depot for a sponsorship? I'm sorry? Can we ask Home Depot to sponsor us? Sponsorship for, for Bucketeers? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you mean like, like as an upgrading or our customers? From the plastic buckets to something uh, industrial metal buckets. Industrial metal buckets. Alright. Steel drums. Steel drums. Steel drums. Steel drums. Okay. okay, here we go. So this is a uh, this is an original composition. Uh by me, Mark Beecher. And uh and then with some help at the end uh we were, we were trying to figure out what to do in the end. Actually, Kayla uh, decided to add the, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the cup routine. The, 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 yeah, you've probably seen that on YouTube a million times. So we adapted this uh, at the end. You'll see our crazy, uh, oh, excuse me. You'll see our crazy routine with the, uh, with the cups. It's our version of the cups. So. Any questions? Uh, this is an interactive concert, so I'm serious. I mean, why should why should everything just be one-sided? You know, seriously, should be uh, concert should be interactive, audience participation. Right, here we go. Oh, whoops! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, Mark. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Conductors. All right, ready? Here we go. One. Three.